guys, welcome to the New Jersey High School Film Challenge and Workshops. I'm Angie Freistat. And I'm Jack M. Hauser. And before we get started with the red carpet interviews, we would like to make an announcement real quick. Make sure that you're wearing your name tag all day to everyone attending. And also, make sure that you do not roam around the school. Stay within the parameters that we've set. Thank you very much. All right, now we have our first group here. Girls, what are your names and what school are you from? I'm Kelly and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. I'm from Katie and I'm also from Wall Intermediate School. I'm Brooke and I'm also from Wall Intermediate. I'm Carolyn and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. All right, guys, what was your favorite part about this film challenge? Um, just hanging out with my friends and having fun. I think um, coming up with the idea was fun and then producing it was also fun. Um, I liked being creative with the film. Um, I thought the thought process that went into it and de definitely like working our way to finish it was definitely the best part. All right, thank you guys very much. Get right, our next get set on here, thanks. Okay, our next group. <laughs> Big group here. <laughs> okay, all right, maybe you guys, the tall one should go in the back. Oh yeah. Real quick. <laughs> all right, guys, what are your names and what school are you from? I'm Raina and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. I'm Lena and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. I'm Sydney and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. What names and school are you from? I'm Mackenzie and I'm from Wall Intermediate School. I'm Liam, I'm from Wall Intermediate School. I'm Carl, I'm from Wall Intermediate School. Okay guys, you went to a couple different workshops today. Which one was your favorite and why? Um, I would say the one with Brian Fox because he really got me interested in filmmaking. I like the second one because we got to see more people with the camera. I agree with Lena that I like the second one the best because it showed me different angles of filming. And what's your, favorite, what's your guys' favorite workshops you've seen today? Um, I like the second one because it was really interactive. I really liked the director one for uh, you really learned because I really learned a lot from that one. Um, I liked the second one too. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you can head you on much. in now. All right, our next group. Alright guys, what are your names and what school are you from? Hi, I'm Maxie. I'm from Hillside. Uh, my name is Boris Nicholas Paul. I attend uh, Hillside High School. I'm Michelle Lanada and I'm also in Hillside High. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, what was your favorite part about the film process for this challenge? Um, it had to be the editing part, honestly, because that's my favorite part. I like to edit. And yeah, that and the acting part because I had to act as well. Um, for me, I don't know, the acting part, because it was funny, like, like our skit was funny, and it was a lot of laughs and good vibes. Uh, personally, I would say the timing, because it was such a time crunch, being that it was a lot of people involved, but yes, it was still fun at the end of the day. You guys can head on in, thank you. I'm so small. There's, there's room. Okay, there's room for so everyone. Okay, so you're all from Hillside High, which I can see. What are your names? Go ahead. I don't want to speak. Uh, my name is, uh, uh, my name is uh, NZ Hack, and uh, I've come, I represent 140 Hillside Grove. My name is uh, Tyler. Tyler. Oh, uh, my name is Chris. Christian Branch. My name is Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Jay Chris the Hood Fave. Okay, and you guys went to a couple different workshops today. Which one was your favorite? I'll pick two of you. Everything. We loved everything. Everything. We love everybody and everything. I think that everything was. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys. You guys can head on in. Okay, our next group. Come on in. Alright guys, what school are you from and what are your names? Scataway, I'm Michael. Uh, I'm Reese. I'm Dia. 
I'm Sam, also known as McLovin. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, and what was your favorite part about working on the film process for this challenge? Um, probably working with your friends, but I'd also just like to say you can you can look up the soundtrack to our uh, our film because we did a musical. Uh, look, just look up brokenhearts.com soundtrack. It'll be on YouTube. All right, thank you. Honestly, just working with each other and just having a good time and kind of being carefree about this whole thing was the best part. I like singing along to our movie. <laughs> I liked making our friend Marcos wear a dress. Okay. All right, guys, thank you. You right, guys can head guys. on in. All right, thanks. Oh. Thanks. Um, Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Johnny Wasden, and I'm from Jack Jackson Liberty High School. And how, is, how has it been uh, working in this whole film challenge and helping everybody out? Um, I think you. Uh, thanks, that's all the time we have for you. Yep, thanks, bye, John. have fun. Great job, John. Next group. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. All right, what are your names and what school are I'm you sorry from? I'm sorry to inform you, my but you have Lauren meningitis, Coleman, and, I'm and we from, call it too uh, late. Rumson Fairhaven Regional High School. Yeah. My name's Zach. I'm from RFH as well. Uh, my name is Eva Kraus. Hearing. And I'm Cameron Spector. <laughs> All right, guys. You went to a couple different workshops today. Which one was your favorite? Uh, and why? The cinema, the cinema cinematography one. I really like that one because he, he made some really good shots. It was very I, pretty. I, I like the acting one uh, because he showed us how to work well with directors and writers, especially when you have a hard director. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to. Say, <laughs> no, please, please, no, please. Don't. No, after you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, writing is probably my favorite. I like to acting a lot, but I'm gonna say writing. It's always, it's always cool hearing about stories. And then the directing actors one because it gave me an insight into how to direct and right, how to be a good director. That's good. All right, guys, you guys can head on in. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right, next group. Okay, guys, your names and what school are you from? My name is Alpha, and I'm from Truman High School. Uh, I'm the Paganimal from Truman. Abel from Truman. All right, and what was your guys' favorite part about the film process working through this challenge? The food was really good. Um, it was tiring, you know, every day, out late, just to film. We, we're perfectionists, so we spent a lot of time for one shot. Kept reshooting the same thing over and over, making sure we got it right. Yeah. Um, we got to collaborate with our teammates and we had a little conversation, but yeah, we still helped each other. All right, sweet. Thank you guys. You All guys right thanks for coming. Ah, next. Hello, Lone Wolf. What school are you from and what's your name? Um, my name is JC and shout out SBFHS. Yeah. Okay. Talk and which workshop today was your favorite? Uh, yeah, so we came a little late, so we only got to see the one guy talking, but it was pretty, uh, pretty wavy. Okay, thank you for coming. Right. Have fun in there. Brother Jason. Follow him yep. on the gram. Next group. All right, guys, what are your names and what school are you from? Oh, hey, I'm Dan. I'm from EHS. I'm Andre. I'm Andre. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Andre, also from EHS. <laughs> and what was your guys' favorite part about working on the film process through this challenge? Oh, de definitely uh, all the pl all, all the amazing places we went to, like getting to learn more about the entire program, learning more about editing. It was it was all really great. Uh, we went to the school pizzeria after we finished filming, and um, you know it was nice. You have a school pizzeria? No, we went to the school pizzeria. Oh, okay, all right, um, okay. Definitely, it was a lot of fun working with a lot of people and trying to make something in you know such a small amount of time. So it's, it was sick. Okay, that's good. All you right. guys can head Thanks. on in. All right, guys, next group. Okay, guys, what are your names? And I can see you're from Morristown, so... I'm Vienna. I'm Grace. I'm also Grace. I'm Mark Werner. Wow. All right, and you did a couple different workshops today. Which one was your favorite? The cinematography one. Cinematography. Cinematography? Uh, writing. Are, are the three of you cinematographers? Is that why? Or Yes, among other things. I want to be more of a writer, but I found the cinematography one really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm a cinematographer and director. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for coming. You can head on in. Thank you. All right, guys, next group. Hey, guys, how's it going? We're doing pretty good. All right, I'm glad to hear. Where are you from? Uh, from Raritan High School. What's, uh, what's the most exciting thing about working on that project? I mean, you know, we did the 10-day film festival for the past two years, and, you know, with the five-day, it's a bit more pressing. You know, we had to make it two minutes now, and I think that's what kind of made it more unique to us. Okay. 
Okay, and what was your favorite workshop today? Uh, definitely the screenwriting. Um, that's what I want to do like uh, with my life, so I feel like I got a lot of pointers from uh, the speaker. Uh, the most interesting workshop? Um, it was a, definitely like the actor's one, because it's important to know how to be an actor if you're going to do film writing, uh, or like being on camera and doing film in general. It's very important to know how to be a very good actor. Definitely. All right, guys. All right, looks like we've got one more interview, guys. You can hop inside. One more before we toss it inside to Jack and Johnny. Hello. Slide in here. Come on right between the two of us. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Jacob Uskolowski. I'm from Glasgow. <laughs> And what was your favorite part about the filmmaking process for this challenge? I feel, um, well, our school didn't, well, actually, yeah, the film, the film process for this challenge, I felt it was, um, it was very challenging to produce a film under um, specific rules. So um, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Okay. And which workshop was your favorite today? I'd have to say the, um, the camera shots to get, like, the exact camera shots you wanted to meet you want to get so it's not boring. All right, that sounds great. <laughs> Sorry. All right, hey, listen, it's, uh, it's just about time for us to get things underway inside, so why don't we toss it out to Jack, and, don't mind Mike, it's okay. We'll toss it out to Jack and Johnny, who's on stage getting ready to kick the film off. Jack and Johnny. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh. Hi guys, uh, I'm, J I'm, I'm Johnny, I'm Jack, I'm Johnny, we're, we're going to try to, we're, we're going to be your host tonight, please clap for us, please. Yeah, we needed that, we needed that, we needed that bad. All right, but uh, without further ado, we're going to watch. 25 films in all, 22 high school and three middle school, and these are the best films selected out of the over 140 entries. We just want to make that clear this year. These are the best ones that we got. Three middle school, 22 high school, like my buddy said. Yep. Um, but yeah, they used to be a lot of just random ones, but now these are the absolute best. Yep. So just know, if you're on here, you're really good. And if you're not on here, don't worry, you're because all the films were great. These are just the greatest. They couldn't even narrow it down to 20. They had to. So, why are they? Please don't laugh at us. Just, we're gonna, just play it. Just play the films.
Jack, I'm sorry to inform you, but you have meningitis and we call it too late. Throughout your life, you'll be slowly losing your hearing. I'm sorry. What is a reflexive verb? Reflexive verbs are verbs that are reflexive actions. The person who receives the action also gives the action. How do we know when the verb is reflexive? When the letters S are attached to the end of the verb, it means that it is reflexive. Stay with me, stay with me, Dre, don't close your eyes. Stay with me, stay with me, you got this, come on, don't close your eyes. Stay with me, let's go, look at me, look at me, look at me, you got this, don't close your eyes. Look at me, you got this, you got this, help, we're losing them. You'd love to get to know everyone better, Sasha. We've all tried talking to him, but it's true. He just does this for attention. He's like a doll with a broken voice box. He's a freak. That's not nice. And who says he has to talk for us to be friends? I'm, I'm sure he's super friendly. Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there don't even know what they're talking about. Not talking for attention? How stupid is that? Just because I don't want to talk to someone who doesn't have an IQ high enough to come up with an insult better than freak doesn't make me... Dang. I broke my pencil again. Don't call on me, don't call on me, don't- Jack, can you come here for a minute? Dang it. Now, Jack, I know you're going through a tough time- and I'm really not. Long, and I know you're trying your best- I mean, I, I could try harder. Really, but your grade in this class? Are you having trouble understanding the material? No, I just don't like your class. I wish you'd just talk to me. Just keep trying your best, okay? People should stop talking about others behind their backs. This is why I don't have friends. I mean, it would be nice to have a friend and not talk, but that seems improbable. Um, I noticed you weren't really talking to... Wait, hey, um... Hey, hey! Oh. Hey! Wait, wait! Jack Miller, I want to be your friend! That makes one of us. And then Drake pulled me on stage and we sang together. We should go to the carnival. You should really invest in some pens. And then dude, I was like, I'm not J-Lo, I'm Sasha. So then he proceeded to get another autograph with me and you know, a picture, cause who am I to deny another? Oh, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Jack, uh, Mrs. Lisa told me to give you this pass that you forgot. Um, anyways, I never finished telling you that story about how I was mistaken for Britney Spears. Last time it was After Jennifer Lopez. Shut up! What? I said shut up! Don't you get it? I don't like you. I don't want to be your friend. And I want you to leave me alone. Why, why do you even want to be my friend? I am a terrible, snarky, sarcastic person who is a pain in the butt to be around. Why are you so obsessed with me? It's okay now. You're not broken. You're just misunderstood. I am not misunderstood, and I, and I know I'm not broken. Okay, why won't you just leave me alone? Why are you touching me? It's okay now. You don't have to keep pushing me away. No matter how hard it is for you to express your true feelings, I'll always be here for you. We can do so much now that you've actually started talking to me. You're coming with me. Even though you don't talk to me like a real friend does, we can still do I give up. Maybe this won't be so bad after all. But if she hugs me again, I'm leaving. Yeah, hey. Left my jacket upstairs. Oh, yeah, I got your jacket here. Thanks. All right, man. Yeah. All right. Bye.
I think it's record. Is it? Let me get it. Let me get it. I saw you adopt it, bro. Mom says stop joking about Whatever. Please put the candles in here. Birthday to you. Zoom out. Zoom in. I can't find anything. Hold on. Hold on. Can I have a turn? Yeah, give me a second. Bro. Come on, man. I told you to put my Calm it down, bro. Calm it. Calm it down. Come on. You've been on forever, please. Can you please shut up? I'm trying to focus right now. Where Come on, man. To? You have to relax. I'll play anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Bro, you know we were joking, right? Bro, why are you so dramatic? Bro. Yo, bro, where are you going? Bro, where is she? Oh no, she just left a couple seconds ago. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, mom asked me. Mom, mom wants to know, like, where are you going right now? I'm just going to the hotel. So Alright, that's, that's cool. Hey, mom, she's just going to some hotel. I didn't say that. It doesn't matter. Where are you What's yeah, your hello? emergency? Yeah. Sir? Sir? Hello? If you can hear me, please respond. So, you got my jacket? Good morning, class. You know, there's going to be extra credit if some of you say good morning to me. Good morning, Mr. B. Oh, isn't that fun? Well, you know, we're going to start a new woodshop project. You're going to be in groups of three and have two days to complete it. And if it's broken, you will fail. Now go, have fun. Want to be part of it? Oh, <laughs> hey, Jack. You know, I'd love to, but I'm... I'm already partners with Stacy, uh, right, Stacy? Ew, no. I guess I'm your partner now. Hi. So here's the plan. Jesse, you'll do the roof. I'll get the walls done. And Jack, you can hold the pinwheel. Got it. That turned out really good. I know. We just need to add the pinwheel. It's beautiful. All right, people, this is our last day to do this. Grace, you're going to get the walls. I'm going to do the roof and the pinwheel. Jack, you're going to... And you're going to eat this banana. Oh! And do not cross this line. Okay. Ow. Let's do this. Super glue, check. Scalpel, we have safety scissors. That'll do. It's finished. Beautiful. I'll hand it in. Wait! No! I caught it. I actually caught it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Whoa, Jack, that looks like an A plus.
Hello, Jackie. Hey. Well, after years with dentistry, I've got to tell you, darling, it's a whole lot more fun outside of the chair. Absolutely marvelous, darling. I do want to take a much closer look at that beautiful mouth. Looks like it's broken. I'm afraid we're going to have to deal with some cavities. Uh. There's nothing to worry about. Your insurance is going to cover this. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. You know, dentistry was my first love. I think my parents first told me, uh, you should be a doctor. I thought, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to have people all come and thank me for my work. I want to be a dentist. I want people to hate what I do. I want people to fear when they come into my office. I want them to say, oh, do you have to use that? Do you have to touch me there? I say, yes, I do. It's my job. I have to do it. I need to touch those pearly whites, but they're yellow. They're yellow or they're gray or they're green. They never know how bad their teeth are. I tell them I want them to use floss. They don't use floss, darling. They don't use floss. They barely brush their teeth twice a day. It's recommended that you brush your teeth after every meal. You never brushed your teeth right, did you? I'm gonna teach you how to brush them nice and well. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Would you like a complimentary toothbrush? Gonna remember to floss? Yeah. You're gonna remember to floss? <laughs> yeah, yeah. After every meal, I want you to floss. And I'm gonna know when you haven't. I'm gonna know, darling. Okay. Well, enjoy your complimentary toothbrush. Girls, they released the Jackson Liberty film competition. What is it? The title is something special. The character's name is Bobby Allaire. You have to say it out loud. And the prop is a folded $5 bill. Ooh, okay. Okay, guys. So what's the plan? How about we do a love story and the guy's name is Bobby Allaire? And they made it in an ice cream shop. Plot twist? He died at the end. Let's go. Let's go. Jack, pretend you're in love with her. Are you sure we're going to win an award? We're definitely going to win an award. Are the results in? Uh, let me check. Did we win? <laughs> no. no, we didn't win. There's always next year, though. We'll definitely win next year. Alright, uh, one chance. Character's name is Ray. Prop is a notebook. So what are we going to do? Well, last year we did a film about a guy and a girl falling in love. So this year we should do a film about a girl and a girl falling in love. That's definitely going to win us an award. We're definitely going to win something this year. Alright, the title is Broken, the character is Jack or Jackie, and the prop is something broken, like a mirror or anything. So a film about a girl and a girl falling in love didn't work out. So why don't we do a film of cheating? And it can be about two best friends, and one of the best friends gets a boyfriend, and the other best friend's so jealous because uh, that best friend spends all her time with her boyfriend. Oh my God. And then he cheats with her best friend. Taylor, did we win? Yeah, actually you guys did. Oh my God, here. can we see? Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh my God. The girls actually went in the ward this year? What? Of course not. I had to fake that and break it so they couldn't see. Their film was terrible. What's going on?
breaking up is the hardest thing to do. There's the criers. <laughs> the deniers. I know he wouldn't cheat on me. He wouldn't, he wouldn't even break up with me. He did. And the enraged. Like, I'm gonna murder his dog. I don't do love. I fix what's broken. I provide a necessary public service. I do other people's dirty work. You pay me, there's no fuss, no muss. Do you want package one? The simple breakup. Package two, the ultimate revenge. Or my favorite, package three. The classic, it's not you, it's me. So Principal Murphy? So what'll it be? Package two. That comes with downloadable prints, right? is who are you you sound familiar oh do I Jack what are you doing here I could recognize that snobby voice anywhere are you following me here you need to leave me just like you did three months ago okay fine I will but let me just make a quick buck first ah. What the hell do you that for? This is my robbery. Stop trying to sabotage my life. You're crazy. Yeah, well, you're an idiot. Yeah, well, you're robbing a house. Yeah, well, you are too. You ruin everything. Hey, remember that time when you didn't call me back for two weeks? Um, well, do you remember when you were texting that other girl? You know, this looks an awful lot like your Valentine's Day present. You never listened to me. You always took me for granted. You cheated on me. You spent the water bill on makeup. You forgot to feed my cat. Yeah, well, you're just awful in general. Well.
You know, we haven't been this close in a while. Oh, shut up. Ow. Shh. shh. Get up! Was this you too? It was him! It was her! It was all him! No, it was all her! Shut up! You two are some sad, pathetic robbers. I'm over this. You two better get your stuff together right now! Cause you've been a long time together! In jail? 911, what's your emergency? This is your fault. This is your this fault. This is all your if fault. You, have come you came into my room. Grandma Jackie's magic chicken. What are we going to do? I, I mean, it's, she's dead, isn't she? Like, is it really that big of a deal? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, it? well, she's dead now. That chicken can open up magic portals to other dimensions. He could escape. We gotta go catch him. Come on, we gotta go. This is no time to be scared. Oh, wait, come on. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs>
wait, we're moving really fast. I like you a lot. I like you too, Jackie, a lot. You probably say that to all your girlfriends. You're the only one that matters. This comes for you, not for me. You? Didn't we? Yeah, actually, that's why I'm here. You want to go round two? What? No. What's wrong with you? It's a party in here. You want a drink? I don't want a drink. Looks like you can use a drink. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe that's because I'm pregnant. With the child? Your child. Whoa, dodged a bullet there. I'm talking about dodging a bullet. Pfft. Can you believe this chick wants me to be her baby's daddy? Crazy. Well, are you? Eh, probably, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, I mean, Jack, we know what it's like to grow up without a father, you know, it sucks. Damn, this is the worst thing that could ever happen to me. Is it? Look. Ew! What the hell? I thought about everything. This broken condom changed my life. I threw out all my stuff. I got new clothes. I got a new job. Me, you, and this baby. What do you think? Get that condom out of my face. Duff arrived like an old friend, out of nowhere. But let me take you back to the beginning. When I was alive, I was optimistic. Maybe I still am. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Jack. I moved from East Los Angeles to New York four years ago. Life was great. spring break you all have somewhere you'd rather be but we still have class and you got to get focused that is mr crawford great teacher i could even go one step further by saying he is by far the best teacher i had but even he couldn't stop the fate that was destined for me it's a bit metal calling but life is full of sadness love too but for the sake of the story let's assume the world sucks that over there is jackie jack jackie we also thought it was ironic when we first met me and him locked eyes, and in a few weeks or so, we clicked. He discovered something about me that I didn't know about myself. We fell in love, but we kept it a secret for two years and a half, until we couldn't know more. Like Neil deGrasse says, this was the beginning of the end, and nobody, not even I, saw this coming. I saw you looking at that girl again. Why would I be looking at another girl if you know I'm gay? You think you're slick? I know I'm slick. I gotta go now. I got class. Yup, the beginning of the end. Bro, I overheard him earlier. This boy's a fish. Shot that. I still don't know what that means. For some reason, they started chasing me. Since Shaki was there, I thought they would stop. But no, they came full force. 
Why'd he chase me? Only God knew. Why maybe I'll ask him. I ran into my building thinking it would stop them, but no. They were devoted, and before I knew it, the usual gay guy beating began. I thought we were beating him up. Yes, beating him up, not throwing him down the staircase. Stop thinking. Thinking is not your best suit. I think he's dead. Don't touch him, you're gonna get fingerprints on him. I think we got that covered when we were beating him up. Yo, make it look like a suicide. Someone took PCR, quick, quick, quick. CPR. And we're back to the beginning. See what hurts the most isn't that I got pushed down the stairs or nor did I die. What hurts the most is I got killed by a bunch of Neanderthals. Boy, are they gonna be in a rude awakening when police find no pills in my system or when they find the fingerprints on me. These bozos didn't even leave a suicide note. Amateurs. I would say I miss Jackie, but heaven is much better. Come on down to Crazy Jackie's gigantic duck shop. You can buy this overused fish tank. Although it may not have water, but fish don't need water to live. Or how about this broken pencil? Two for the price of one. Or how about these overused sneakers? They smell delicious. Oh yeah. Or how about this DVD? You can watch this hour and this hour, and you'll never fall asleep. Cool. How about this 10K camera? Only $2.99. $1.99. Coming down to Crazy Jackie's Gigantic Junk Shop, where our prices will never break the bank. What am I doing with my life? Worst job ever. Hey, it's that guy from TV. Hey, it's Crazy Jackie. Hey. What piece of trash you sell at this time, a hunk of junk? <laughs> <laughs> hey, aren't you Crazy Jackie? Yeah, no crunch, Sherlock. What do you want? Hey, I have a job offer for you. Why don't you come to my office? Wow, really? Mr. Jackie, pay attention. I have a job offer for you. But if you want this job, you're gonna have to be able to handle it. Give me happy. Uh, sure. Confused. Scary. Angry. Disgusted. Excited. That's it, you're the man for the job. Thank you so much. everyone, Jackie's back, and I have a new product, Gorilla Glue, so you can fix all the junk I so told of you in the past. Great job, Jackie. I knew you were our man.
I'm bored. Can we do something other than eating? Let's play a game. Wait a minute. We should play Truth or Dare. Sounds fun. Okay, Jack. Truth or Dare. Truth. Is it true that you still sleep with a nightlight? No. It's <sighs> <That's> childish. <laughs> Liar. You're scared of your own shadow. You swore not to tell. I'm telling mom. <laughs> that was too babyish. Let's hear something juicy. You know what, Gianna? Truth or dare? Dare. Oh yeah? Since you're so brave, why don't you run to the end of the woods and back? That's for preschoolers, but I dare's a dare. Yo. Why don't we just ditch her? I don't think that's a good idea. I agree with TJ. We should go. Come on! Come on, mate! Right now, I'm going home and I was, my mom's coming to pick up the food for our sleepover and she's still up for it. 
Sorry, I have friends in my mom. Yeah, next time. Alright, bye. Who was that? Jackie. It's nothing. Oh, okay. Jackie. Jackie! Emma! Are you lying to me now? You're being over How am I? You lied to me. That's not what best friends are supposed to do. But you're not supposed to scream like a maniac in the middle of the street. What's the broken watch for? This was your grandfather's watch. Actually, this is how I met him. With a broken watch? Yes. You want me to tell you the story right here? Come sit down. Hi, sorry to bother you, but would you give me the time? My watch is broken. Um, I believe it's quarter past four. <laughs> Thank you. Jack Davis. Deborah Miller. You hungry? I'll call somebody later. I think we both knew in that moment that we would never be lonely again. of this darn watch. He never fixed it. Did he know it was broken? He knew it was broken. I guess he just wanted to always be reminded of how we met. And get this, honey. Your grandfather even showed up late for our own wedding. Isn't that funny? always going to remind me of your grandfather and what some people may see as broken I see as beautiful
Houston, we have a problem. We have a really big problem. Copy that, Captain Jackie. I just got the alert now. It looks like one of the rocket ship's gas tanks has exploded. Oh, really? I thought the ship decided to check in and see if I was spacing out. Commander, how am I supposed to fix this? Can you take the ship out of autopilot and try manually steering it? I'll see what I can do. It's busted. Commander, what am I supposed to do now? Uh... Earth to Commander Rudy, I could die. Please give me a better answer than, uh... Okay, I'm sorry. They never taught us this. How, how could they not teach you this? This is your profession. It's not rocket science. Well, actually... Shut up! Please just come up with a solution and help me out, man! job to know and I'm fine please just help me out of this death trap Captain Jackie we've got some astronomically bigger problems ahead just what I need when I'm about to die space puns you're such an asteroid wait asteroids there's a meteor shower coming right your way if you don't get out of the ship you're gonna for sure so you expect me to just float up there till someone comes to my rescue that could take longer than my oxygen supply would Captain last. this is not the time to argue take a deep breath and abort the ship no just find a way to fix the ship yes because I can just Fix a broken rocket ship from 200,000 miles away. Jackie, get out of there. Commander, I can't. See, Jackie, this is why you should listen to me more often. If you'd have just gotten out of the spaceship, you would have still be alive right now. I would have been dead anyways. There's no point, and it's not my fault you don't know how to fix a rocket. That's it. I'm taking your rule of Captain Way. Or should I say rookie? No, give it back! No. Yes! Oh. Yes! Rudy, Jackie, Dad brought home ice cream, so you better clean this mess up before it's all gone. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Greetings, Shannon. We should get. I'm an evil robot. robot. Take me to your leader. No. Yes. It's mine. No. Yesterday. I was busy yesterday. You're always busy. You never have time. I'm being crazy. I'm being crazy. You're the one walking around with Chris Olsen. Because he was helping me. I don't care what he was doing. I'm gonna call the cops. Get away. Everything is set up outside, it looks great. Jack's gonna love it. Oh, I have to go, I have to go. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. I'm gonna love wood. Yeah, I did too. I was just writing down my own number. Absolutely. I don't even know what it. I said. I need to go get um, solo cups though for Jack's proposal. Oh, don't worry. We still have time. We can go right now. You're not busy? No, I'm not busy. If you want, I can set it up for you and Jack tomorrow. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go.
Jack. Jack. Hello? He usually eats lunch around this time. Can you feed him, please? He likes... Thank you so much. Oh, uh, I, I think you got cut off. Uh, hello? Yeah, uh, you know, sometimes people just don't know how to cope with their feelings. Of course, the way we respond to one another and the events in our lives are different. But that only means we need to learn how to control ourselves. If we can, and let these feelings fester, then it will destroy us. It can make us more insane. Hey, uh, we are. I have to take care of you. Let's die without dying. Would you like to eat something? Your mother said you can talk, so please, talk. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> Jack, please. I'm so, so sorry. It's your choice not to do it. We're not perfect, and we will never be. Yet, if you find yourself going under, it is your fault. You failed yourself. You weakened yourself. You broke yourself. We all have parasites. Which ones do we let define us? Which ones leave us broken? We all live with problems. If we just let them eat us up, then we're all as good as dead. I love this mug. Hi, Mr. Ray. Jack, what the heck are you still doing here? In three minutes is not an ad with these videos. Well, I mean, if you subscribe, you don't have to sit through all that. I can't afford that on this salary. What's going on? Oh, well, so you know that film challenge that's happening this week? No. Okay, so the hours I have to work on that are insane. So I was just looking for my teammates who abandoned me for no reason whatsoever. Where'd you get that mug? Hey, you had Jesse for Secret Santa, right? I had Amy, and I don't know if the gift I got is good or not. Where'd you get Jesse? Well, we'll just have to find out when we open up the gifts. Well, Merry Christmas! You too. Oh, hey, Erica! Hey everybody, Merry Christmas! Todd, hey! Who'd you get for the Secret Santa? Well, it's a funny thing you should ask. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was the perfect gift for you. Oh wow, you shouldn't have. We just did a lesson on Basquiat with Crossing Out Words, it's really cool. Glad you like it.
Jesse, I need to see you in my office right now. Oh, Jack, can you watch my coffee uh, for me? Don't yeah. spill it on the computer, okay? Yeah, all right. All right. Jack, we're all downstairs. What are you doing up here? Oh, oh, Is that coffee? Oh, wait, that's... Bro, the button's broken. Bro, just get the ad. I can't, bro. It's I'm broke. trying to get pumped right now. Bro, you're pumped. I, you don't understand. I need to get pumped with music. Dude, I'm, it's broken, bro. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to get pumped, bro. Bro, you're pumped. All right. I can't. Let's get pumped. Let's all right. get pumped. Yeah. Jocks, get pumped. It's broken. It won't export. Nate, come on, it's 7.55, I, we gotta I get can't. this out. It's broken, Premiere is broken. Miss, I am so sorry. Call me Jackie. What? No way. My name's Jack too. See, I totally felt like we had a connection there. I didn't feel a connection. <laughs> I'm not even into pretty girls anyway. All right. Well, I, I gotta go. Bye. Hi. Um, you're a dude secretary? That's awesome. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, my watch broke and my phone is lost. Can I still get an interview? And you must be Jack. Jackson. Yeah. Uh, my friends call me Jack. Alright, well the boss will call you in when he's ready. Coffee? I love coffee. You should totally go to Starbucks. I only have a machine. Oh. I really have to admit, that was the best interview of my life. Yep, same here. We'll definitely call you back. All right. Nice meeting you. You too. Jack, you're up next. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. There's too much to tell. I don't even know where to start. Dang it, Jack. Why'd you say that? Mom always said that if you pretend to be smart, people will actually believe it. So prove how smart you can pretend to be. I can work for cheap, and I'm not skilled enough to get a job anywhere else. I'm the perfect bargain. Jack. Since you're my last interview for the day, I might as well tell you, you got the job. What? No way! That's totally awesome! I thought I butchered that interview, but I must have done really good. Well, Jacqueline, I gotta tell you, this interview was more awkward than meeting my wife's parents, but your resume is just too good to pass out. Really? I didn't think McDonald's was that impressive. Wait, Jacqueline? Hi, my name is Jacqueline. Sorry I'm late. Some idiot ran into me. Hey, did any of you guys see the game last night? 50 yard sprint to the end zone, beaten by two points. Jack, who here would have possibly watched the game? Henry was probably busy working on some extra credit or something. Hey, my bio average is 96%. I need the extra credit. And I've got way too much going on. I had to get to Sandy's party half an hour early. And get this, I had to stay sober. Yeah, stupid designated drivers. 
You know, Uber exists for a reason. Oh my god, Sarah, you have it so bad. Coach says that the school is starting those pack tests again. BAC tests, Jack. And why are you drinking? You know, the risk of death is 6% Oh my more god, like shut up, you freaking nerd! I'm not drinking. You can't be at my best. And in the future, I want you to drink. I won't even have the opportunity. Isn't that illegal? What'd you say, Claire? I don't know, nothing. Girl, you need to talk more. You know, it's like fun, and you might even. Attention, students. This is an active shooter lockdown. This is an active shooter lockdown. Okay, kids, you know the drill. Let's go in the corner. I hate missing valuable class time for these stupid drills. Shut up, Henry. I'm posting on my snap. <sighs> these are my good jeans. Why the- <gasps> Oh my god, what was that? Zombie speaks? You're not all frightened by that? Jesus, Claire. No one's gonna come to our school in the middle of nowhere, alright? The school just has to do one drill a month. What's that noise? Principal Hanson probably just fell off of something. That idiot. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, you guys are so pathetic. There's nothing going- Oh my god! Remain calm. Just settle down. Remain calm. Mom? Mom, I'm sorry. I love you. I should have spent more time- 911! Call 911! What are you doing? Is I'm not dying here. What are you doing? I'm leaving. Jack, no, stay here. Follow protocol. You gotta stay calm. What the heck are you doing? You're gonna get us all killed. Someone close, close the damn door. Deliver us from evil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hey, that said that me and Lisa spoke again in class today? What'd she say? The teacher gave us an extra, pass it up. What do you think that means? I think it means you should go for it. I should go for it. I don't even know what going for it entails. Brian Summerfields, I found you! Yes, you, the world's greatest ladies man. Dude, he knows your Twitter profile. But he did break my glasses. Ladies, men, my world is dying from a disease that you humans became immune to centuries ago. I need an Earth girl who's willing to come back and use her DNA to save the females of my race. Take me to the most populated gathering you know of. Chet's having Dungeons and Dragons at his house tonight. And I'll need some clothes. <laughs> is this apple juice? Jeff, Larry, new guy, new guy, my name's Chet by the way, and welcome to the greatest party in town. And I could say that because I called the cops at every other party in town. <laughs> Excelsior! Alright, well, you're the girls. Go find one you like. Uh, this is quite embarrassing, but uh, I don't really know how to talk to Earth girls. You're gonna need to show me. One second. We need to have a quick talk. Do you remember what happened the last time we tried to talk to girls at that party? You threw up. We both threw up. On each other. Look, Jack, this alien is the greatest thing that's ever happened to us. We need to go out there and talk to these girls. Oh, hey, what's up? Good. On my home world, my skin turns blue because of the atmosphere. Cool. And I'm a level four warlock. But you know, the thing is, I think Jeff calls me a wizard just to throw my game off. Do you ever think that like, you know, maybe? What? 
Chat, <laughs> what a nerd. Larry, live long and prosper. Live long, my friend, live long. Wow, your home world sounds so beautiful. Do you think you'd want to visit it? Yeah. Ladies, man, I'm in love, but she's leaving in two minutes. What do I say? I don't, I really just don't. Please, my world's gonna die. Please. Lisa, how you been? Tell her that, that, pan, 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 pan. You're comfortable when you're talking to her. And that you love her laugh and the way she looks into your eyes. And if she has feelings too, then you have to act on it and not wait around and see if it will work because soon you'll never see her again and you'll never know. Oh, this is good. Where are you going? I'm gonna go for it. Cops! Law enforcement! How about another round of applause for all those videos? Come and give it up. All right, now we have a huge stack of awards here to give out, so we're gonna get it rolling right away. And maybe we'll throw in some funny jokes for you guys, huh? Okay. What do you call um, a best actor? Sorry. Sorry, I blew it. All right, forget it. The first award is Best Actor. It goes to Henry Hudson Christian Smith. I blew it. I love dentistry. And I love um, Josh Curta, who died and came back from the dead for this. Kristen, my girlfriend, who is an amazing and very, very patient actress to deal with all of that dentistry. My friend Shin for doing the filming. I'm so thankful. Thank you, everybody. I love you. You are my people. He knew he was gonna win. All right, so next we got Best Actress, which is kind of like the best actor, only it's actress now, so that's a girl. Um, okay, nice. let's just. Okay, so the best actress, can I get a drum roll? Jenna McKim. Here screwed that one up, so I'll just I'll take the next one as yeah, well. Sorry. Um, so next we have the best director, and this one is going to Dom Santa Maria from Howell High School. <laughs> Let's 
What's up? Thank you. Mr. Knapp, thank you. You're the best video teacher of my class. Thank you. Jackson Liberty, thank you. Uh, don't forget to wrap it up. No, nah, that was perfect. All right. Next category we have, we saw a lot of great editing in all the films displayed. And it was very difficult to choose one. However, the next category is best editing. And the winner for best editing goes to... Harry S. Truman High School. to get this. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, it was a tough eight hours editing that. Um, I can't get that back from my life. So um, I'd like to thank Mr. Raj for letting me stay uh, after school. And i also like to thank the sidewalks for uh, keeping me off the streets. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dilly Dilly! Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't a part of this, but I had a commercial. I mean, whatever that is, and I didn't win, but I know them, so I feel special. Alpha, Dilly Dilly. I like that joke, the keep me off the streets one. That was pretty good. We should remember that. Yeah, better than anything we'd ever come up with. Yeah. All right, so the next one we got here, a big one. I'm sure you're all excited for best screenplay. Wow. Ouch. Okay, well, I really like this one. So whoever wins, you matter to me. I guess not the crowd, though. All right. From Howe High School, Pat McGarry. That's a speech. All right, next category we have best use of prop. This year it was something broken, so it's a very wide variety of props. Another very difficult one to narrow down. So we have Lakewood High School, Maria Morales. <laughs> This was a lot of fun to work on. All right, stop, stop. Right. They're not here. We're going to leave this aside and get that to them. All right. The next category we have is best comedy. It was about a 50-50 split with no, the films. this is third place comedy. It was about 50-50 split with the films for comedy and drama. So we had to choose multiple for each category. Oh. This is third place for best comedy. Third place goes to Vineland High School, Tanner Bushman. I never thought this would happen, um, but I got to thank uh, this guy because he stepped up. Um, he woke me up. And stole, yeah, we woke you up. You were napping, and then he uh, came you in last minute. I know. I'm, I'm trying now. Right. We're third place. That's why we're third place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, me personally, I did the uh, I did the camera work, and I just want to thank these guys for letting me work on having me having such a good eye for how to point different angles. And I just want to thank Mr. Ski for allowing us to do this project, and also Violent High School for allowing us to be in this contest to show how all of us truly want to go into this line of work in filmmaking. So thank you all very much. All right. So next, as most of you probably guessed, we have second place for best comedy. So let's get right into that one. And it is Pat McGarry from Howell High School. Hi. Um, we want to thank our school, Howell High School uh, Entertainment Tech Shop Technology. Our teacher, Mr. Knapp, we want to thank him for everything. And uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks again. <laughs> Excelsior. Ah, you know Pat. He's a man of many words. Gotta love Pat. All right. And now, of course, first place for comedy. First place goes to Morristown High School, Grace Pratchthauser. Hi, um, I'm Grace, I'm our director. Um, I want to say good job for all of you for your films, they're all amazing. Special thank you to Mr. Butler, our teacher. You're absolutely phenomenal. You are best actor, two years running, and thank you so much. Okay, so another category that we just couldn't pick one winner was best drama. So let's kick it off with third place. And we have Matt Nickishin from Howell High School. Uh, we just wanted to thank Jackson Liberty for such a great event and our high school, You're Mr. Welcome. Knapp and Mr. Churn for letting us come out and just have a fantastic time creating videos and doing what we love. Yes, thank you. Everyone's videos are great. I like them. <laughs> thank you for uh, the pizza. <laughs> yep. yeah. Next up, we have second place for best drama. And the winner of second place is Truman High School, Abel Alexander. Thank you, uh, shout out to my actors. Uh, I, they did all, yeah, cool, dilly dilly. Thank you, thank you, and I love the food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New York pizza is better, just saying. Uh, I miss that. Okay, so the moment the moment that you have all been waiting for. Best drama, the first place winner is 
Henry Hudson High School, Harry Carpenter. Quick shout out to Melissa Olsen who couldn't be here and Kevin Connolly. Yeah. And before we move on with the next award, just a quick shout out to Mike de Blasi for setting all of this up. He really, he's the one that set this whole thing up. We owe it all to him, so let's get a round of applause. Thanks. To Mike. All right. Next award, moving on, we have Best Cinematography. The winner is Truman High School, yeah! Moses Perez. Hi again. Um, sweet, you go. <laughs> so, thank you again. Thank you. Hi. Bye. Okay, so the next one, one of my favorite categories, is best sound design. So that's like how they designed the sound. Um, and the winner is from Morristown High School, Sindorf Strassen. So much. We want to thank Mr. Butler the most because he is an amazing teacher. Um, if you guys don't remember ours, ours was a little uh, broken. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Um, it was the one with the robbers. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah. I don't know. Let's go, let's go. For the record, the bear is okay. The bear is okay. All right. That one was. John's favorite award, this one is mine, Best Visual Effects. That's when there's effects, but you can see them. So, Best Visual Effects goes to Isabella de Fabridis from Howell High School. Thank you guys, everyone is awesome out there. Shout out to Howell High School. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to our friends in the FPAC program as well as Sean Villa who is a giant help on this project. Um, we also want to take, thank our teacher, Mr. Knapp as usual and Mr. Turn. Thank you guys. <laughs> So the next one is a little award that Jack and I came up with ourselves, actually. It's yep. a little complicated, but it's best middle school film. So that's like the best one. The way that this film works yeah. is that it's the best film, but from the middle school category. So this is the best, but not high school. It's the best from middle school. Wow. Got, okay. Try to follow along. Yeah. It's, and the winner is Ashlyn Nolan from Getz Middle School.
Oh my god. Um, thank you guys so much. Thanks everyone. You guys, everyone else had better films than us, but I probably didn't say that. But you guys are all, <laughs> you guys are all, you got all of you did amazing films. And uh, yeah, thank you so much to Miss Potter for being an amazing video tech Woo! teacher and being so patient with us. And yeah, thank you all. <laughs> We're seniors in high school, and that kid was taller than him, so that's awesome. <laughs> oh, you like that one, yeah. Like when we make fun of people, thanks. This next one's for you guys. This is the Audience Choice Award, the film that you guys reacted either the loudest or laughed the hardest at. And this, and this okay. film is stuck in the envelope. All right. All right. The winner of the Audience Choice Award goes to Lacey Township, Charles Fell. I want to thank you for all, uh, thank you, thank you very much. I didn't even know we were going to uh, win for sure, but, well, here we are, I guess, but. <laughs> or not, I want to say a few things. I want to give a shout out to my teacher, Mr. Leonard, my um, few other teachers, Mr. Vera, Mr. Zacker, Mr. Merman, and I want to thank my friends, Joseph Hines, David Tamboro, and Michael Marlow. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be on screen nor in the ward right now, I guess. I want to thank all of you for coming. And I want to say, this real quick. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. What I just saw here today, every single one of those films was, I'm gonna be honest with you, in my opinion, they were great. You all did a fantastic job. Yeah, you did. And, you know, I want you to keep, I don't know what to say anymore, but I want you to keep doing the best you guys can do, and someday, you'll succeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Great job, buddy. Hey, thanks. Good job, guys. Keep doing what you love, people. And come on down to Crazy Jackie's Gigantic Jock Shop. Woo! For our prices, we'll never break the bank. <laughs> Give me happy. All right, we have come to our last award of the day. It's afternoon, and uh, it's best overall. This is the best film uh, overall in all categories. I'm gonna let John read this one off. All right, here it is, the big dog. And the winner is... Grace. Crash Thouser from Morris Town High School. Step up fast and be the first girl to make me throw this cash. We get money, don't be mad, now stop. Hating is bad. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you all so much. This is an absolute pleasure. Um, again, thank you to Mr. Butler, the greatest broadcasting teacher. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and a special thank you to our other group member, Greg Malin, who is not here. Um, definitely wouldn't be here without Greg. Yeah, so yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So that about wraps things up, but Jack has one more thing you'd like to say. All right, so if you go on to, we have a link here, uh, they, they may post on the screens, I'm not sure, survey.highschoolfilmchallenge.com. You can take a survey of your experience here and your experience with the challenge. 
So we please ask that you go take that survey so we can get your feedback. Thank you everyone for coming and thanks for putting up with our awful jokes. what you came for lightning strikes every time she moves and everybody's watching her but she's looking at you